In this example, we're going to look how the relationship between the angle bisector theorem and mass points can make solving what is a somewhat complicated problem much easier. So we got triangle ABC, and then it says that the opposite of A is 3, the opposite of B is 5, and the opposite of C is 7. So those are the lengths of our triangle, a 3, 5, 7 right, um, triangle. Notice my picture isn't very good because C clearly should be an obtuse angle. Um, but it's not, but that's not going to end up mattering on this problem. It'll just make it so the ratios look weird. It says, then you draw in AD, which is the angle bisector of A, and BE, which is going to be the angle bisector of B, um, and then they intersect at point P. Well, to use mass points, we need to know as many ratios to begin with as we can, and then we apply masses to find the rest of the ratio. Well, uh, the angle bisector theorem says if this is an a a bisected by BE, then AE over BC is in the same ratio as the ratio of those two sides, which is 7 to 3. I like to use this kind of notation, 7A and 3A, recognizing that that gives you the correct 7 to 3 ratio. A could be anything. It might be 1 tenth. It might be 5. Whatever it might be doesn't matter. Um, we could go through and actually find the exact value because that's 5, right? It's going to be 7 tenths and 3 tenths, uh, so 3.5 and 1.5. But I'm actually going to be doing this ratio, so I'm not even worried about that. Up here, we're going to have 7B and 5B using angle bisector as well, right? Because both of these segments that we drew in were angle bisectors. Now we apply masses. Usually, you try to find... Um, a value for the one that is um, connects up the two segments, the two side lengths that have the stevians drawn to them, and pick a mass that's for them, and there becomes a really easy mass to choose, and that is 7 for the mass here, which we'll put in a, a square. And that we pick 7 there because now over here we can pick 3 and we can get 21 um, and 21 based on the ratios. Um, for our masses, which balances, and then over here we can let the bat mass of B be 5, because 5 times 7 and 5 times 7 equals 35. And then that means the mass at the um, in between is 3 plus 7, which is going to give us 10. That's the mass at E, and the mass at B is 5 plus 7, which is going to give us 12. We want to find out what XY is, which is actually PE to PB. Well, based on mass points, we know that um, it's going to be opposite relation, and so that must mean that this is, if this is A, then this must, or C, then this must be 2C. So the ratio of BP, or X, to Y is simply going to be 2 to 1. BP to PE is simply 2 to 1. And that is, um, how you go through and use mass points combined with angle bisector theorem to find out what the ratio of BP to PE is.